Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video on Tecla Structures Tips and Tricks. In this video, I would like to show you how to uh, do or how to change uh, an assembly or a part number uh, of any part, okay? Let's get started. We have uh, this kind of columns in these beams uh, and the numbering series for columns. Uh, I'm using the C small and C capital. C small for part numbering and C capital for assembly. This is not uh, very important. It's up to you to use any kind of numbering series. Okay, so uh, these columns, as you see here, we have assembly number of C1 but part number of C2. And for this one also, C2 and C1. Um, I'm just, uh, I, I just want to show you how to show these labels here, okay? Double click on the screen and go to the display and go to advanced here. Here at this part label, check this one and uh, for the first one, assembly position at here and also part position here. And show four, um, you can use all or I am preferring to use main part for the selected, okay? Okay, and apply, okay. Okay, when I select this one, uh, it will show the assembly position and the part position uh, near this, okay? And for the beams also, we have this one and this one. Let's say we want to change the part number or assembly number of this one. Um, I want to change this one to C1, C1, and this is to C2, C2 here. So, um, as you know, the assemblies are actually different. Here we have a cap plate and we have a base plate here. That's why the assembly of these columns are are, are different, okay? So, um, this is C1 and C2, and this is C2, okay? Um, to change this number, uh, first of all, going to numbering setting, I'm using, I'm using the standard one um, that's I, I will change the setting later, okay? This is a standard numbering uh, setup, okay? Apply, okay. To change this number, I am, I am uh, doing this uh, in a wrong manner, just to show you something, okay? Go to the change number, and first of all, you should clear the number, and then assign with a new number, okay? So, um, here, I want to change the assembly number of here change to C1, okay? Click the, uh, select the member, change, and first of all, clear the assembly. We have uh, two types of clearance. We have uh, clear numbers and clear assembly, or clear both. Here we have uh, to change only. We have to clear the assembly number here, okay? Clear assembly number. As you see, this is changed to C0. This means uh, the number is clear. Okay, uh, select again, change number here, change assembly number. Okay, this is a series. I want to change to C1. Okay, C1 assign. You see that? Cannot assign the, the number group that contains different object. This is because C1 is already taken by this one. I, I cannot assign this, uh, this. Uh, as a C1, while the C1 position number is already taken by this this uh, column, uh, and the columns actually are different. So, to uh, for solving this issue, we have to clear both the numbers. Okay, this is very important. I'll say again, you cannot assign a number if the number is already taken by another member. Okay, so for that, uh, we should clear both and change number, clear assembly numbers. Okay, now you see the assembly number of this one and this one is also clear. And this time, this is C1, change number, change assembly number. This is C1, assign, and this is C2, assign. Now, now I'll select both of them and go to number, numbering settings, and use reuse old numbers and apply and OK and go perform numbering of selected objects. You see that C1, C1 and C2 and C2. 
let's say I want to change this one to C9. It's it's easy and it's the same concept. Change a sphere assembly number, and this time uh, it doesn't need to uh, clear the number of uh, the other parts because C9 is, is not taken by the others. Okay, and change uh, change assembly number. Let's say C9. Okay, assign. Yeah. And again, perform of selected. You see that C9, C1, okay? This is very easy. Uh, and the four beams here, B2, B1, and B3, B2, B1, B1 here. Here, as you see, the B1, the assembly number of this one and th this one is the same because the assemblies are actually the same. Both are six meter length, but th this is different, okay? Let's say if I want to change this this B1 to B2, even though the the actual parts are the same, but if it's possible, yeah, it's, it's possible actually to change the number if the part numbers are also the same. Okay, uh, let's say uh, change number. Uh, this time I am I'm I'm on uh, I'm only. Uh, clearing the part number, okay. Clearing the part number, uh, clear, clear part number. As you see, this is B0, meaning that uh, the part is cleared. And this uh, here we have B2 is already taken, I cannot change to B2, okay. Let's say I'll, I, I want to change to B3. This is, for example, this is actually B1 at this. Uh, as exactly this one, but I want to change the part number to B3, okay? P change part number to B3, assign, and perform of selected. You see, this is not changed. B1 and also takes the B1 number. Again, I'll, I'll try another time. B0, change, change part number to B3 or B4 or any, any number uh, other than uh, one, okay? Assign, here you see, I am assigned to B4, but actually this is B1, um, let's say perform, it, it will return to B1, because the, the part numbers are the same. How to solve this issue, okay? I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Again, clear part number, okay, clear part number, again, change part number let's say to b4 okay assign but this time i'm not performing the number i'll change the number in settings here go to the number in settings um here we have this option here modified or new this is uh, modified in our case because i am i'm modifying the this beam here the the option is to get a new number is compared to old okay compared to old the old number is b1 and also compared to this b1 and uh, let's say if, if they are the same it will take that the old number but i'll change this keep number of possible keep number of possible this option um will keep the number keep the number as it is even though the the uh, uh, the the parts are actually the same okay keep number if possible apply okay and select this one and perform numbering you see that before it keeps it keeps the number with this option keep number if possible this is not uh, very common to change the numbers um to get uh, your, your 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 desired number if the parts are the same it's it's also recommended to have the same number because um uh, you save the your drawings or drawing sheets or, or you have many many advantages if your uh, numbers are the same but uh, in case if you want to assign a num number even um, this part is already taken this the, i mean the number is already taken by another member okay uh, this is the end of uh, our tutorial i hope you get something new